Hello and welcome to 1600 Games, episode 4. Um, we are going to play this game that's right in front of us here. What game is that, you ask? Isn't that Centipede? No, it is not Centipede. Oh, I just died, didn't I? This is Magic Worm. Alright, so um, this is one of the earliest games I ever played. I have this really vague memory. I, I've got no real sense of... Um, where it fit in the other stupid games that I played around that time. I just remember like going to somewhere that was cold uh, and this was in a, a rec room like in some motel. Yeah, my poor parents took all us boys somewhere and this was there and I played it and this was the game Magic Worm. It is not Centipede. Centipede was produced by Atari Magic Worm was produced by Sidam. Both were released in 1981. Atari didn't like Sidam very much because Sidam were bootleggers. <laughs> and they tried to deny, of course they did, they tried to deny that this was um, an Atari game. But the programmers for Atari took them to court in Canada. And, uh,. When they tried to prove it, they did the usual things of, well, look at this game. It's very similar to um, Centipede, and yeah, it is. Uh, there's a few differences, like they've got apples, and the sounds are a bit different. I don't even know if you can hear the sounds. I can't, but I assume they're happening. Um, but Atari uh, coders had done something a bit cheeky. They had hidden uh, some Morse code within their code. Uh, that could only be read if you had a key, which I assume must have been a prime number or some kind of thing like that. Um, and when you applied the key to the code, it revealed a message that said a lot, something along the lines of copyright 1980 Atari. So clever Atari, thought ahead. Maybe they knew this Italian crew of bootleggers were going to pull something like this. Yeah. Anyway, CDM actually kept going. They kept uh, bootlegging for a very, very long time. And in fact, the company, I believe, still exists thanks to um, my thanks to the arcade blogger who um, is online and had a lot of this information for me. I just wanted to compare because I knew that this was that Centipede existed and that this was a game I was going to review. I just thought it was hilarious. Okay, so that's game one. <sighs> Magic Worm. Alright, so we're going to go to game two. Game two. I'm going to say a couple of things here. This is 867. Um, 867. Night Slashes. So I'm going to mention a couple of games in quick succession Double Dragon, 1987. Final Fight, 1989. And Night Slashes, 1993. So, um, Final Fight, which we will end up looking at, is a successor to um, Street Fighter and was a bit seminal in its time, just like Street Fighter was. It, uh, it took kind of the, the general um, formula of Double Dragon and really built upon it. And out of the success of Final Fight, you got this whole slew of games. And Night Slashes is one of them. You can see... The, the how to play is on the screen currently. Um, Night Slashes fits in with these east to west scrolling, beat them up, uh, you're saving the planet or your local district or whatever, America um, or Japan, <laughs> from gangs of people, in this case gangs of supernatural enemies. Let's have a crack. We're going to play this guy first. Christ Christopher! He's got the best sound bite. I don't know if you can hear it clearly. I've been fiddling around with the um, sound levels. It's, it's giving me ears. I hope it's working on your end. Lovely. So, yeah. Listen out for him saying, You caught me by surprise! When he gets hit. Because one day I'm going to be in a street brawl. <laughs> and I'm going to say when I get beaten up, which is inevitable. I have no idea what to fight. Um, I'm going to say, you caught me by surprise! 
Okay. There's only one button uh, for beating them up, right? And it just goes through a hit combo. Pretty standard stuff. Hit combo. He's got some blue gem that he holds up at the end of his hit combo. There is jump. I'm going to try something here. Jump. Yeah, if you press jump and uh, down when you're in midair, you <laughs> hit the enemies into the ground. I don't know if you saw that then, but that zombie got smacked into the ground. We'll try it again. Oh. Come on, zombie. Let me hit you in the ground. No, he doesn't want me to hit him in the ground. I, I can understand that. We will hit him into the ground. Though. There we go. See, he's in the ground. Look at that. Hilarious. Okay. Um, so besides just beating the crap out of them, you can see the top left corner, uh, there's health. Um, your health will run out and you will die. I hate that guy. Guy with the knife. He's like ridiculous. There we go. You caught me off guard. You can grapple with them. So if you get up to them and they don't hit you and you touch them, you can grapple with them. This type of game has this uh, mechanic where you just kind of have to move up and down the screen. So if you're um, on the same horizontal plane as them, they can hit you. Uh, but it's difficult for them to hit you. They have to have special powers to hit you if you're not on the horizontal plane to them. So a lot of the time you're just strafing, uh, sorry, moving up and down to avoid them. And you try and stay just off the horizontal to them so that uh, they have to move onto your horizontal and if you spam the button come on spam the button they will move onto your horizontal usually and then they get hit come on what are you, what are you doing no he's being a pest let's try that again yeah okay let's be too quick let's try again there we go Alright, so this is a mini boss. Um, I don't think he's the level boss. I think there's one more guy after this. Let's look at these special maneuvers. Holding down the button does a power up and then you release to attack. Uh, that has a weird mechanic to it that if you hold down the button too long. Oh, okay. You hold down the button too long. Goes orange and then you stun. Look at that. I've been stunned because I held down the button too long. I just picked up some health. Health is really rare in this um, game, uh, and it doesn't give you much health. I think one of the uh, things about Final Fight is you could play it for an awful long time on one credit because you could pick up health, it was quite generous. And um, yeah, this game is, is much more about parting the innocent with their money. I mean, there is a, a degree of skill, but it's much more about you will get ganked. Now let's do the special maneuver. What is he doing even? Special maneuver! Woo! Does damage to everyone on the screen. Also does damage to you. Alright, there's a dash function too, which I don't tend to use very much. Which is just a double tap. Oh, let's have a look at that. Double tap, to dash. Okay, we're not going to play this for terribly long. I, it's got more than six uh, rounds to it. I know because I played up to round six and then got terribly bored. Just wasn't gripping me. Um, yeah, so there it is. What is this? Night slashes. Let's slash. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but there are weapons you can pick up and throw at enemies or beat them up with stuff. Oh. Electrocute. We're going to change people now. Yeah, so this is actually um, a multiplayer game. Uh, you can... I, I don't know if, if uh, in Australia they had any three-person game uh, versions of this game, but uh, I know that you, in some countries you could play a three-person version, so I'm not concentrating on my game anymore. This one's got a two-person. Ah, there we go. 
don't know if you're noticing, she did a uh, whirlwind kick. So that a, a kind of clears all the enemies immediately around you, but again, uses up some of your precious, precious health. Let's have a look at her special maneuver. I think these games were deliberately made to um, have a billion levels so that people would just keep pumping the coins in. Oh, I did continue. Did I pay to play? I don't know. Let's. There we go. Um, interesting little tidbit. Uh, in some releases, the blood was uh, red. In other releases, the blood was green. I think, uh, yeah, some people are a bit more <laughs> precious about their blood. Boom. Okay, this is a fairly tedious game. Uh, it wasn't revolutionary for its time. I mean, it came out four years after Final Fight. Um, this is released by Neo Geo, uh, and uh, you see we've moved into a different type of gameplay now. This is the running gameplay. Um, it's like a it's like a quick time event, I guess. It's just a different type of gameplay. They include a few of these little side types of gameplay. Uh, there's the classic elevator scene where you are going up or down an elevator and you just have to um, defeat the, the creatures that turn up on the elevator. Usually they drop in. So that's a classic. There, there were also some interesting little side bits like uh, there was I did, I, there was one a bonus level where it's like whack-a-mole, a whole lot of zombies appeared in the ground and you have to smack their heads while they're still in the ground. Hilarious. Um, there was another one that I got up to where uh, you, you start behind a line and you have to mash the button. While you're mashing the button, you're grappling with a zombie and then at the end of the timer, you throw the zombie and the zombie sails off screen and you follow the zombie as it runs into, um, <laughs> runs into like a, a, a skittle set, like a 10 pin bowling of zombies and you get points for however many you knock down. I thought it was kind of funny. So there's a bit of humor in here. There's a lot of sludge. You've noticed every time you kill an enemy, they fall into a puddle of sludge. Hilarious. Look, some rare, rare food. Alright, well, I mean, I could play this forever, because I think it goes forever, but it's bland. Let's do one more. Whirly kick. Whirly kick. Alright, I think she doesn't lose health unless she actually hits something. Let's see. Yeah, so she lost it. Oh. Oh. Come on, let's look at the last game here. Stop playing. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. Alright, let's look at the last game. Uh, the last game is number 769. Now, save this one till last. Um, I think because it's the nicest to look at, in my opinion. This is Metal Slug. Now, Metal Slug, um, Metal Slug 4 plus... There was Metal Slug 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 10. I don't believe there are any others, if I remember correctly. I, I think I never played 1, 2, and 3 in the arcades. I think by the time they got up to this one, I moved on in life. So this one came out in late 2006. Uh, this is a Neo Geo one, sorry. The, the last one was a Data East one. Um, now we're going to end up looking at a few of the metal slugs along the way, and you'll notice that the the graphics don't shift terribly. It's the same game. Unless 10 does something different, this is pretty much the same game it was in number one. Uh, one of the things I really like about this game is the, it's just the, the style of the graphics. If you've played Cuphead or you've seen Cuphead, um, it's got that same kind of painted cell animation look and that... Um, 
lots of things moving continuously. Yeah. So a lot of attention to the sprites and, and really smooth animations. Uh, okay, so you can shoot up and shoot left, right. It's an east-west scroller. Um, I don't think you change direction on this, but I could be wrong. See those guys up there? They're annoying because if you know the level well enough and you plan in advance, you can get that stuff. You have to jump on the undestroyed cars to get to it. But I'm not bothering with that. I'm just going to destroy everything. I mean, why not? So, you can throw grenades. They can throw grenades. Let's throw a couple of grenades. When there's something to throw grenades at. I think that's the extent of the special maneuvers. You might have noticed I've picked up along the way some weaponry. There's an H. It's like heavy weapon. Allows you to do strafing maneuvers. I should save my ammo, really. No, oh, rockets. Fine. Lots of um, bonus pickups along the way. Uh, you might notice down in the um, bottom left hand of the screen there's little pictograms of people. Uh, that's because I've rescued two people. Well, if you die in a level, that counter goes to zero, which is a bit mean to me. Like, you know, lose one, whatever. But lose all of them? Fine. This is for hardcore gamers. For leap gamers! Um, uh, okay. Uh, boss level. If we can do this properly. Let's save some ammo. There we go. Alright. Oh. Rocket. Yeah. Go away. Go away. Um. We haven't seen the extent of this game. I think we need to get up to like level three to see the proper extent of this game. Let's see how we go. Ugh. Or round three or whatever. There's so many destructibles in this game, it's it's hilarious. Um, yeah. But, uh, like, if it moves, you can kill it. If it doesn't move, you can often kill it as well. Which is fine. Okay. Alright, see that minigun? I hate it with a passion because I can never tell where it's shooting. Leave me alone. Ah. See that? I had five little guys and now I've got none. Very, very rude. Very rude. And where was that minigun shooting? I ask you. You can't see the bullets. It's just rude. <sighs> Captured prisoners? None. See? I had five. I had five prisoners. And the last freaking thing gets me. I'm not bitter. Shut up. You are. Okay. Um... I just want to get to this one more thing, okay? The thing that made um, Metal Slug a game that people wanted to play. Just know we had an invasion. Come in. Save me surprise, man. Can you just die, everyone? Can you just die, everyone? Uh, why am I not using grenades? That'll help things much quicker. Do you see where I save the grenades? There it is. Okay, there's our first tank. I'm not great at hanging on to the tank, so I want to hang on to the tank. Save some people. So the tank is like an extra life. Look up the top left side of the screen. You'll see it actually has life. Um, I'm going to try and hang on to it for more than five minutes. I'm afraid to hang on to the tanks. A bit rusty. Uh -huh. 
But we're going to see what we can do here. Alright, oh, that's better. We've got full life. Oh, shoot. Oh, I jumped instead of not jump. Damn it. So that's what makes Metal Gear such a great game, is the tanks. There's a variety of tanks you get to get into if you live long enough. Uh, again, it's a two-player game, like proper two-player, not round per round. Um, graphics are lovely. The sound is incessant and fun. And it's got a great game over screen. I'll go first. What does that mean, even? Oh, sorry, just to um, be fair. I think that's how many times i played. I don't know. Woo. What? Hugh. It's not my name. Game over. Thanks again. Bye.